oh, that's a shoulder lock, that's an Americana, that's a, fuck you, right? Like, they're not hard to defend. All right, so in order to get the submission, I have to keep myself in a vulnerable place, which is right over her hips, right? Maybe I grapevine so that she can't bridge. Maybe not. Okay, now, because of our size difference, I might have to find another Uki or go straighten your legs out for the purpose of the drill. I'm going to have to come a little bit lower. Okay, so I'm in the mount position. I'm going to go two on one, pin the arm down. Okay, we all know this is what we're talking about, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Not hard for her to power out of. Okay, so um, for a quick modification, what I would like you guys to do is try to grab and feed the wrist. Focus on using just one arm. And I want you to come in and crush the throat. Okay. okay. And actually we'll even modify it before that too. Once she goes to straighten her arm out, Instead of trying to pull everything in, we're going to allow her to straighten her arm out and we're going to rotate the whole arm. So I'm rotating the elbow, the shoulder, I'm spinning the arm. Rather than trying to pull it in here, spin the arm, then I'll pull it in, feed to one hand, cross face, okay, there we go. And then, you feel that? If I can get the hand to where the top of the hand is on the mat, then I'm going to switch and look for a wrist lock. You feel that? Okay. If it's applicable. So that, those are the three things we're going to put together. We're going to do it slow. Two on one. I slide in for my key lock. She goes to extend. I roll the whole arm. She brings it back. I trap. Pull it in. Anvil. Okay. Continuing that down. I'm going to bring her arm here. Okay. Because she's going to want that pressure off of her shoulder. So I'm going to let her have it. I'm going to pin her hand right next to her head. Okay. You okay? Tell me if there's... Um, I can't get wrist lock pressure, okay? Is there? There's 